Tancred's Battle Gear is an unfortunately overlooked set for many people in Diablo 2 that at times has risen up through the ranks for various bits of utility, especially in the magic find space. As far as its overall utility, it may be somewhat limited as a complete set due to using your weapon slot, but it is still fun to play around with even if you are just restricting yourself to partial set bonuses from it. Before we dive into the more interesting individual parts of the set, we do want to look at the global set bonuses, which in my opinion are not terrible, but could definitely go with some upgrading. It's packing dual leech, slow target, resist all, gold find, and a bit of lightning damage. It hits most of the key bases, but not at large enough values to excuse it being a five part set. But this does get helped a bit by the bonuses on the individual parts of the set. Starting with probably the least impressive part, we have the weapon, Tancred's Crowbill, one of the few low set weapons with percent damage improvement, which improves its upgrade ability, but due to it being a relatively mediocre percent, if you do upgrade it, it will only be to exceptional and not really be worth it even then. Though with the attack rating naturally on it, mana for two parts and increase in attack speed at three parts, it can work fairly well in the mid to late part of normal difficulty as a weapon. Though it is worth noting, since the attack speed bonus is on weapon, there is no global benefit to dual wielding them like you see here, it just looks cooler. Next up is the armor, with decent strength and life bumps naturally, and a flat defense per level when using at least two parts of the set, and being full plate, it does tend to look pretty nice on most characters. Though it does have the drawback of being heavy armor, which greatly slows your movement speed and increases your stamina drain. Into the more fun stuff, we have the helmet, one of the parts of the set that I'll sometimes use a bit longer than you'd think. This is because it provides off-weapon percent enhanced damage, which is basically a 10% damage aura for your character in how it's applied. Alongside this, it packs some attack rating and slides in some more resist all when paired with other parts of the set. It's actually a really good piece to keep while you're still setting up your mid to late game gear, and just due to the nice mix of modifiers it provides. Now, the most sought after part of the set is probably the amulet. It's the hardest to find, unfortunately, and on its base stats, it's kind of garbage, with just some damage reduction on both flavors. But whenever you start pairing it with other items, you'll start to see why it's enjoyed for niche use, with a 78% magic find boost for two parts, and then a little extra attack rating whenever you get to three parts. Commonly, it's the helmet, amulet, and boots for three parts, or just the amulet and boots for two parts. Moving down to those boots, they're a little bit odd to find due to their base, but they pack bonus dexterity and stamina recovery on them, which is nice enough for boots. Although by level 20, you don't need this nearly as much as earlier sets, but when paired with other parts, you get faster run walk to help at least compensate a little bit for that armor weight at two parts, and an additional plus 10 strength at three parts, meaning these are pretty good for stat smoothing, and is often why they are part of the chosen to pair with the amulet for easy magic find. As far as upgrading the set goes, the weapons are a very slim maybe to exceptional, but by then you should have the runes to at least make something passable in Nightmare that outclasses it. You definitely don't want to upgrade the armor since it will require insane amounts of strength even for a barbarian, and as far as upgrading the helmet or the boots, generally speaking the increased defense is not going to be worth the rune cost since they don't have any percent improvements. As a whole, the set is fun. I like keeping around the boots and the amulet for use on alternative magic find characters until I can find multiple magic find sets, and I do like the look of it on most characters, at least aesthetically, on Resurrected. It does get knocked down a few pegs for having a bit less flexibility for pairing as a whole set, and of course requiring a weapon slot to complete, but you can still do a few nice combos with it as a partial set bonus rather than the full set. And as always, thanks for all the support on YouTube, Patreon, and Twitch that makes all of this content possible.